trying to avoid an argument to anything. I want to shut your guard. I'm not referring to you showing a video. That was that, that was your doing. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about in general. You seem a bit, you know, harsh and mean, and you always cut people off, and you always, yeah, swear a lot and stuff. That's what I was referring to. That's one thing. Second, th second thing. Uh, read the Quran with an open mind. Try reading it, not to look for mistakes like you always do. You know, Asha Jarawi, I'm telling you like now, give me give me something good in the Quran. Give me something good in the Quran. Forget about what I said. Why you don't give us something good? You complain I'm giving the bad stuff about the Quran. This is meaning you agree that the Quran is full of bad stuff. Great. Now, can you show me something good in the Quran? You're lying. I never said that there's anything wrong with the Quran. That was your opinion, and it's invalid and a bit stupid, to be honest. Second of all, I'll give you something good in the Quran. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ This is good in the Quran. Allah, He created the ants, the human, and the genie to worship Him. Uh, here we go. This is proving to us that the, the Quran is a very stupid book. Because how you say that I created the human and the genie to worship me? Do Allah need worshipper? No, my. Do He need them? He created them to worship Him. That's it. It's mean He created them because He need them. No, my. He does not need them. Allah says in the Quran, "Wa ana ghaniyun al alamin." I do not need them. But Allah created them to worship Him. Asking questions like why, how, where, is how we deviate from the straight path. Otherwise, we just listen and we just obey Allah and we get our reward. So we just our mission is to worship Allah, not to, to start asking questions why and how. And that's why a lot of people deviate. You have all these sects from Islam that deviate like Sufism and all that stuff. That, that they went astray because they asked too many questions. Yeah, you don't. Uh, the, the, the sim you just submit. You know, Islam submit. Islam submit. Simple as. And, uh, and wh why is all this uh, rude words and all this swearing? Why they? Okay, he said something very true. He said, if you ask about a question about Islam, you leave Islam. See, just submit. Don't ask. And this is explained to me why you are a Muslim. You do not know anything about Islam, but you submit. That's it. You are like a goat. You are telling me, I am a goat, which is you. I do not know, want to know. I don't want to understand. I don't want to ask questions, because if I ask, I will leave Islam. And we agree with you. And actually, this is what the Quran says. Chapter 5, verse 101. Saying, ask not questions, for things look ugly for you in the Quran. Ashia an tabdulakum tasu'akum. In verse number 102, saying, because former generations, they asked those questions and they, they lost their faith. So Islam forbid Muslims to ask questions about Islam, because if you ask, the answer in verse number 501 and 102. Because if you do, you will leave Islam. Thank you very much. This is mean that this religion cannot stand the questions and cannot stand the test, and this is mean it is satanic. Your mind. Sorry, sorry, yeah. It can stand questions, and the proof is from the history. A lot of people have come to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked questions and he replied. Yeah? But when we say we don't want the, the questions I'm referring to, we talk about meaningless ones. Like things, why? God said, I created you to worship me. Why? Do you need us to worship you? Then Allah replies, No, I don't. And when you, when you ask further questions, you start questioning things that, that you get all philosophical and stupid. That's what I mean. If you if you question the Bible, you get the same same things. The Bible never the Bible refers to God as a as a as a different being. He does not refer to himself as a God. He never said worship me. He never. Sorry, sorry. Am I still on? Okay. Um. And someone asked me if I'm a Salafi. Who was that? Did someone ask me if I'm a Salafi? Let, let, let us go to the main topic, uh, uh, Shajaram. I 
chin injury in the front of the room to tell us who is Allah? Very easy question. Guys, what do you think? Can a Shajarawi tell us who is Allah? Uh, don't tell me he's the creator. The God of the Hindu is the creator. The God of the Buddha is the creator. The God of the Christian is the creator. But this is, doesn't tell me who is he. I'm not asking you what he do. Who is Allah? Can you tell us your mind? You cannot tell us who is Allah, so you are asking me to, uh, to convert to Islam, but you cannot tell me who is Allah? What do you mean as God? Allah is the God, supposedly, right? Who is Allah? Do you don't know? All what they knew, that Allah is God. That's it. Allah is Allah. Who is Allah? He's Allah. I know he's God. I'm asking you, who is the God of Allah? Let's make it simple for you. Who is the God Allah? You will say to me, he's God. Who is he? Who is Allah? What do you mean, same God I worship? I, I worship the Messiah. He's my God. You worship the Messiah? Well, you worship a lake, as long as you just mention this, no problem. Isn't it you who worship a lake? You're mine. Your God is a lake. He's a lake. Open chapter 68, verse number 42. Tell me, what the Quran is saying? You're mine. Are you referring to... Um the verse, I think it's Surah Al-Waqa'ah. No, no, Al that one? Yes, Yawma Yukshafa Ansaqin. Allah will show his leg. Allah is a leg. You're mine. That is really, really stupid, if you might say. Sorry for saying that, but I don't mean to call you stupid. I'm just saying the whole idea of saying God is a leg is stupid. Because that verse says that he has a leg. Not he is a leg. You have a leg. Yeah? It doesn't mean you're a leg. Yeah? Allah will show. Okay, great. Guys, Allah, he has a leg. Allah, listen to this. He agreed. The verse they are saying, Allah, he has a leg. Cool? Okay. The leg of Allah, is it is by itself or attached to his butt? You agree that he has a leg? Great. The leg of Allah is flying in the space by itself? Or the leg of Allah is attached to his butt? You mind? This question is irrelevant and does not make sense. He says he has a leg, he has a leg. He has a hand. He also says he has a hand. In the Quran says he has a hand. Uh, or in the hadith. He has a I know, I know. But the hand is attached to what? The hand is flying by itself and the leg is attached to you know, you know. We want an explanation. Allah have an eyes. Allah have ears. Allah have hands. But do Allah have a chest? Do Allah have a waist? Do Allah have a butt? What we know, Allah have a leg and have hands. So, we have a leg and there is hands coming out. Right? Do you agree? You might. What you're saying conflicts with another... What you're saying conflicts with another verse. That saying that Allah has nothing like him. Do you understand? True. Because we just agreed that Allah is a leg. He have hands coming out. You never, we never heard about a leg having hands coming out. What a funny God this God is. A leg have hands coming out from it? A leg have two eyes? A leg have 
two ears and you are telling me this leg is Allah let us make the question easier for you why Allah have a leg I will give you three options you want to play football European football soccer football huh? 